travel somewhere around this world and, and take along their own customs and how they grew up and it may be seen as, as offensive or hostile by someone who yeah. may not or even if here they may if they don't respond if you don't respond to someone saying good morning to you or an offering of something to you they may take that as an offense is that that's what you're saying and then yeah. it'll reflect on you because you're one of the very few white people or yeah. americans yeah, it's, it's pretty usual yeah. that you know we bring most of yeah like foreigners around here so so it, it reflects on us yeah. and last question uh, a pretty open question for you um you can switch one part or as many parts you want to break it down, but you can answer it before you want. Um, in your ideal vision, in your mission, or your ideal world, really, what would you like to see happen in your in this while you're here on this planet? On this planet, yeah, yeah um, I've thought of this a bit, I guess, in my life, and I just like to see working like towards improvement in all kinds of aspects. Like, you know, it's it's obvious to say, like, you know, we all want more peaceful and stuff, and but, you know, and I see that you know there's also people that want to keep things as they are and we need to like consider that and work towards undermining those specific people and in the meantime bringing up ourselves by supplying our own needs and reducing our reliance on things that give those specific people power or influence over the entire world essentially so yeah basically you know I, I understand on things I've researched and read and learned from other people that it's in, entirely possible for the entire world to increase in population and live sustainably, produce everything, technology and more advanced technology in sustainable manners and not pollute the entire planet. So, you know, I'd like to see us move more towards that and more towards, um, like, addressing corruption, coercion, government, religion problems that, like, you know. And, and could I ask, since you, since you brought that up, mm -hmm. Since founding, helping found uh, Terra Frutis and your relationship with the with the owner, uh, Jay is his name, right? Yep. Um, if I can ask this question, based on what you just said right there, are you saying that being here in Terra Frutis and helping found it and working the land and living the diet and life and everything you're doing so far, would you say this is this is this is the stand you have to take because you may not know other options. Is that this is a, this is an essential stand for everyone? I believe like you have to produce your own food, or you have to be using non-fiat currencies. That means not the U.S. dollar, which inherently supports crimes across the world, to buy the food from someone that is sustainably producing it without using things like you know the U.S. dollar or gasoline, etc. It's really a twisted web that's been woven for us to try to climb out of. So. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Definitely appreciate it, Jason. Uh, Terra Frutis. Um, it sounds like you're, if I can make the assumption, you're one of the last, or one of the few rebels, revolutionaries. <laughs> and, you know, I've read a lot of books and I've met a lot of people in my life, but this is revolutionary in the fact that it's not common. You know, it's obviously yeah. a, a change of pace. And you seem very humble and soft spoken, but this is truly something of changing a. Not just your life, but it's changing the lives around you, including human and non-human, all life really, yeah. plants and so forth. And, and what you've shared with me off the camera is that you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You expect to make mistakes yeah. um, along the way. So I really appreciate you know, the time you've given me and this interview. And with anyone watching this, and I encourage you to, if you do watch this, to please visit terrafrutis.com, um, ask questions, send emails, inquiries, um, send a comment or a like to this video. And continue encouraging not just uh, Jay, Jason and Jay on this property, anyone who comes here, but encourage the people around you that, that's watching this and, and share this video with them and encourage them that they can, they can make things happen. And right now, Jason, you're making, uh, you're making things happen, not just here in Ecuador, but for anyone and everyone that, that you've touched. Thank you very much Thank for your time. You.